Wow, it's Master of the Senate and seven-time veteran of The Daily Show, Chuck Schumer. Hey, Chuck. Yes, it is I, or me, <laughs> or him, depending on how the biography channel wants to frame my storied and fabled journey. It is him, Charles Chuck Ellis Schumer, protector of adequate health care for all, 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 all. Who could afford it? <laughs> what? We're protecting your health care, Jimmy. That's what. What are you what are you talking about? Oh my lord, didn't you see us protecting your health care the other day? Well, did you? <laughs> Me and Nancy up there on the steps of the Supreme Court protecting your health care like the warriors we are. And by the way, a big congrats to Speaker Pelosi for winning the Nobel Peace Prize, for leading the battle cry against the scourge of Medicare for all. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, I thought it was the Profile and Courage Award. It's exactly that kind of sexist narrative that cost Hillary the election, Buster Brown. But it wasn't the Nobel Peace Prize, Chuck. Oh, it wasn't, was it? Well, you just wait, Captain Letdown, <laughs> because there will come a day when she does get that prize. Because the only path to quality, affordable health care for all Americans is the ACA, not some free giveaway to cancer queens. <laughs> giveaway to who? You know, cancer queens. These women gaming the system having cancer out of wedlock, spending all their food stamp money on chemo, showing little desire to work. Wow, I haven't heard this one before. That's because most of them are dead, Jimmy. And guess who picks up their debt? Shameful. And don't get me started on those insulin scam artists buying insulin on Craigslist for half what it costs at Rite Aid. That's a theft of over $400 per bottle. No, sir. We must protect your health care and your freedom to be free from the free health care scammers. <laughs> but I thought being free was the most affordable. How can free be affordable? Freedom always comes at a price, my good fellow. Take our slaves, for instance. They worked hard. They scrimped. They saved their scrimps for a rainy day, <laughs> and they pulled themselves up by their bootstraps when they had them. And before they knew it, they earned the right to enjoy 150 years of Jim Crow. Wow. Now, I'm not saying it was easy, but our forefathers didn't get thrown out of Holland for being annoying zealots for nothing. <laughs> no. They knew the only way to freedom was to dress in heavy woolen cloaks during the summer and then freeze to death in the winters of Rhode Island after begging natives for acorns. True freedom is incremental. It's in the Constitution. I, you know, I didn't know that. Yes, it was hard. But all it takes is a pocket full of gumption, a few hundred <laughs> years, and shazam! You're in a food desert paying more for gas than rich people in Beverly Hills. Upward mobility... Say it after me, Jimmy. Upward mobility. Ready? No. <laughs> Upward? Oh, stop it, you net negative. Your negativity is contagious. It makes people nervous. Wait, what people? Wall Street. Yeah, Wall Street is a street full of money. It's not people. Did you see me drinking my latte? Where? During our press conference on the sacred steps of the Supreme Court. Nancy was defending your health care, and I nearly fainted from the electricity in the air. I sucked on that latte for dear life. The excitement was so intense. Are you, are you all right now? <laughs> oh, my goodness, yes. There's nothing like passionately fighting for no significant change that gets a man more lightheaded. Brings me back to my younger days as a freedom writer during the Civil Rights Movement. You were in the Civil Rights Movement? I have a Parmesan wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what's that it's a big wheel of parmesan cheese mine weighs over 88 pounds did you know parmesan cheese only comes from one place in the world mm -hmm. but right now most of it's in my kitchen here's what i like to do sometimes i just heat up my noodles 
and twirl my hot ass on top of that cheese wheel like there was no tomorrow. My Parmesan cheese wheel cost a thousand dollars. Is it? Is it that pretty expensive for cheese, Chuck? I don't think most people could even afford that. Let me tell you something. You take on the Parmesan cheese industry, and they have six ways from Sunday of getting back at you. Shame on you. Join me, Jimmy. Join me in protecting our cheese. <laughs> Next live Jimmy Dore show is June 5th. That's a Wednesday at Hermosa Beach Comedy Club in Hermosa Beach, California. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all tickets. We might be coming to your town. And if you love the show, please become a patron. Please support the show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And please click that bell to make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are already subscribed, they unsubscribe people every day. Just check. Thanks for your support.